Can Lillard carry the Blazers past the Nuggets? I think he can. I think he can in the seven-game series. I think he's that explosive. He put on the show in that second quarter last night, had 32 <laughs> points in the first half. Lillard is something special. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake about it. Me, personally, I still think they got enough, but the only reason I feel they have enough to beat Denver is by default because Jamal Murray was there. If Jamal Murray was there, if, if, because he's not there. If he were there, healthy to play, Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets would take the Portland Trailblazers out in six games. So it's by default that I feel this way. Now, obviously, I've been on the record, and I've said religiously, if I'm the Portland Trailblazers, I have to consider moving one of the two because C.J. McCollum and, and, and Damian Lillard together, as explosive as they are, as marksman-like as they are, I think they're a bit undersized together, and, and I think both of them have such extreme value that I would look to move one of them to get something else. But I'm going to tell you this. I got question marks about the coach, Terry Stotts, because he's a good, he knows the game. He knows his X and the nose, but in this day and age, everybody knows what the hell are other people are going to do. It really comes down to your ability to galvanize the troops and maximize the potential that you have available to you on your roster. I'm not sure Terry Stotts is that guy. That's a question mark for me. And the biggest reason I feel that way is because of that damn Yusuf Nurkic. He gets on my damn nerve, Max. I got it. I got I can't hold it in no more. He really gets on my damn nerves. And I'm going to tell you why. Yusuf Nurkic can play. Yeah. This brother is not a scrub. He can play. Yeah. He can really, really play offensively. Seven points while Jokic dropping 38 on you. 34 in game one, 38 in game two. You shooting, one, what was it, two or eight from the field. Where the hell are you? Where are you at? You're 6'11", 280, 290. And, and, and I understand that, that the Joker can play, but what the hell about you, Nurkic? He really gets on my damn nerves because he's too talented to play so weak yeah. sometimes. that He can drop 30. Anytime he wants to, he'll drop 25 or 30 a night and then disappear for three for games. For a team like Portland, a guy makes, like Nurkic he, is actually he, the key. He because, makes me sick. Yeah, for, he really does because he's so talented and is wasted talent half the time with him. He just, for no reason, he just doesn't show up. For a team that's not a free agent destination, your third best player's got to step up. And, and on paper, he always looks like maybe that could be the guy. Talent-wise, Max, he's one of the best big men in the game. Look, you just I, don't see it half the time because he want to take time off. I don't. I just. I agree with you. I mean, if the Nuggets had Jamal Murray, who don't forget was doing things like dropping as as Perk would say a fifty piece with no turnovers in last year's playoffs, it's insane. They might win the whole thing. Like certainly get out of the West. That Aaron Gordon trade worked out lovely for them. Um, but I'll say this. What impressed me so much about Jokic is they didn't seem to miss a beat without Jamal Murray, at least in the regular season. And what, I, I don't, I'm not saying this with my chest out. Denver's going to beat them. I think this is a long, drawn-out series. I think it's going seven. But I do think Denver's going to win. And, and usually, like, uh, the team with the superstar who's going to have the ball in his hand, initiate the offense, has the advantage. That would be Lillard with Portland. But Jokic also always has the ball in his hand and can initiate your offense and, and is a brilliant passer, not to mention can score down low or from the outside, and, and he can do everything offensively. So I think actually with Porter Jr. and, and Aaron Gordon, he has enough to squeak by the Blazers in a seven-game series. Mm. Well, Stephen A., before I dive into my point, Max and Stephen A., I want to say this. What you said about Terry Stotts is, is right on. And I, and I think when you look at Nurkic, it goes hand in hand because you have to watch the position that he puts him in. He got him playing around the three-point line doing dribble handoffs and popping and stretching the floor instead of establishing his seven-foot, 285 behind in the paint. So that goes on Terry Stotts. But here it is today, right? I'm not giving out free game. I'm going to send y'all my cash app later. I'm going to just give y'all this game. And okay, the Portland Trailblazers are going to win the series. Here's why. One, they went into Denver and did what they were supposed to do. And let's take home court advantage. We got game one. That's what you want to do as a team on the road. You want to get two, but if you get one, good thing for you because now you're going home in front of your fans. Two, we all know stars are going to be stars, okay? 
Damian Lillard, CJ McCullough, Jokic, they're going to get theirs. They're going to put up big numbers because that's what they do. But the thing is, is that this is not the bubble anymore. So now you have to travel on the road. And now you get the chance to have home games. So now Portland is going back home. And what happens when you go home? The same thing we witnessed last night. Role players play better at home. We witnessed Aaron Gordon play better last night at home. We, we witnessed Jermichael Green play better at home. The role players for Portland are going to be better in Portland. So Portland right now has the upper hand. I had this series going seven, Portland in seven, but I believe that it's going six. Portland will finish this in six because they got game one, and the role players will step their game up when they get back to Portland, and I just don't see Denver having enough to beat them in either one of those games, three or four, in Portland, and they're going to be heading back to Denver up 3-1. I can't dismiss that. I think it's possible that they can win it in six because they can just protect their home turf the rest of the way. But I lean on game seven because you're asking me to trust that Portland's going to be disciplined and focused enough to maintain, retain, you know, maintain home court advantage. And that's where Nurkic comes in and Stotts comes in. Uh, whatever adjustments are going to be made. I haven't seen Stotts try to make them too often in his coaching career. I'm looking at Nurkic and I'm saying – the talent that you have available. Again, Max, I understand you ain't Jokic. But damn, 34 and 38 points he gives to you, and you have such a tepid response? Come on. You got to do better than that. Give him something you know that Lillard, Lillard and C.J. McCollum going to give you what they're supposed to give you offensively. Defensively, they're somewhat compromised because they're undersized. So one or the other is going to get exploited from time to time. But that's where the big boys are supposed to come in and make up for that, which he almost never does. 